Still wish you could have at least fought Helmlock King. Because he's a really good boss in my opinion. It's really fun. And it's pretty tense and all. Uh, what are you going to do? That really bugs me. I never got why it's not in here. Because it's Ganon's base of operations. Maybe he doesn't even know of Gohan in? I don't know. If anyone has any possible ideas, tell me. And of course, they have to just throw these enemies in one last time. So, this is part two of Ganon's Tower. Pretty interesting part. So we're going to first want to go in here. We get more portraits of the bosses. And we see torches. Some are lit, some aren't. What do you got to say, King of Reliance? Hey. This, I think, is actually optional. I don't think this is required, but I'm just gonna do it anyway, because... If you if you missed anything before Ganon's Tower, it'll make getting up there a bit easier. So, let's see... Mulgara... Gohama... I forget the name of that thing, but I'll just call him Big Boo. And Kaleidermos. Oh yeah, that's Jahala, I think. I could be wrong. You're also going to want to use the Boomerang. We have switches. Seem familiar? So first, target that, then that. And there we go. Okay, anyone know what, how the King of Alliance got here? Because we can't go through here. And I might as well show you guys where this leads. You can pretty much guess. I don't know why it's... it's... So, here we are back of our second fortress. As you can see, I might as well show you guys how much it's changed. It really has. As you saw before when we got the treasure here, the searchlights are no longer operational. There really isn't any point to coming here. Unless you again miss the harpies. And it won't always be night here. Uh, some parts are visibly different, there are m more bats. Like, the only enemies are really just keys. The floor master isn't even here. We want to make use of him. Well, I want to get something from the rats. I don't know why he boarded that off.
wonder why he has a boat. Um, where can I show what's nose we change? Oh, well, there's that, I guess. Never really knows it before. That platform thing up there. Lights are still on for some reason, cause even though no one inhabits this. And even the torches are off. And as you can guess, you can't just simply swim in there. Because you just can't go in there without the camera lines, if you, even if you want to ditch him. Again, I don't think this is required, but again, but the only purpose is to make it quicker and easier for you to get back up to the Great Sea. But let's get started on the real part two of Ganon's Tower. So we want to read this. But you all can guess who we're gonna see. Remember that music? It's Phantom Ganon! There usually will be a quick time prompt for that, but don't do it, because I've usually found that you just get hurt. Now, as you can see, the sword hilt Pointing specifically to that door. Some one of these doors in each room will be an enemy room. But I don't remember which one is that. But it's really nothing complicated. He has a new attack, which is that. You're gonna wanna spin attack them. Unfortunately, having the hurricane spin. Actually, no, you don't spin attack that. You just have to hit them all at, at the right time. If I get to spin attack it, I guess you don't. If you enter the wrong door, you're gonna have to restart the whole thing. The pattern is always the same. Damn it! I was hoping I could get that, but no. Wait. I'm gonna use an empty bottle because I can. Yeah! You just got pwned by an empty bottle. Woo! In fact, I'm gonna do that for the rest of this. I wonder if you can do that with his new attack. I wanna see if I can. I think the empty bottle is a bigger hitbox than the. That's a sword. Like, if you miss time, you're, it's not like you're gonna get hit automatically, because it'll still usually hit it from what it looks like. I wanna see if I can hit his red attack back. Okay, let's test. It wouldn't even look. Okay, let's try again. I really wanna see. Not letting me take out the thing. Huh. Is there a way to tell which is the real Phantom Ganon when he does that attack? I don't think there is. But I don't I tried taking out the empty bottle when we did that attack. It didn't let me. Maybe I just didn't get the timing right. Let's try one more time. Okay, I don't think you can. I'm not gonna try anymore. Man, that is hard to time. That's the full row. Dude! Yeah. 
Fuck, I've lost so much health. This music is awesome. Like, as you can see there, I missed time, and yet, I, it still hit. It still counted. I don't know if this is the same in Operative Time, because, you know, he uses the stuff. He swings the empty bottle differently, different speed and all. Man. And when you've come here, you know you've reached the end. Also, fancy gate! That didn't even hit him! Oh wow, you don't even have to hit all of them in back, just a significant amount. And that was easy. I wonder what could be in here. And I'm really gonna wanna heal before you face the Andor, because... That's what I get for being curious. Light arrows. They always have to have some sort of cliche thing about justice with the light arrows in its description. So we got the light arrows incredibly late. It takes up a large amount of magic, as you can guess. And if only we could use this sword. I'm actually curious what the difference is between that and the other weapons. I'm assuming it's stronger than the Dark Note weapon. Or sword. Ooh! Hi, I got a new toy! Nice. This will one-shot every enemy in the game. And there's nothing stopping us from going to Gandorf. And I'm just gonna destroy everything with my light arrow. How'd that miss? It just shrinks them. That's probably is that's probably painful. Like at this point they're really just asking for you to destroy everything with your light arrows. Music's also getting fainter. Stealth attack. <laughs> this looks like what? And that bottle's, bottle's pretty much useless. Super secret stealth attack. Okay, not to see get stealth attack. Hey, I didn't even need a fairy to heal myself. Nice. I know, I know, I shouldn't be cheap, I should fight them the old-fashioned way. But I got a new toy, how can I not test it out? Now I like how they don't even care that something that they can hear stuff. And you also have to, have to destroy every enemy in your path. But I guess that's the final challenge before Ganondorf. No wonder why they call this game easy. 
Because if that's all he's going to throw at us at this point... Ah, oh, damn it, I want to borrow that fairy. Guess I'll end off things here. Next time on Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, we are going to go confront Gandor and save Princess Zelda. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all later.